Jesus, that pump is stupid. What the hell? Yeah, that smashes him. Woo! My name is Zach Kern and I helped create Pride Pre-Workout with EHP Labs. So, very exciting. Today we are basically unveiling the brand new flavor, Raspberry Twizzle for Shizzle. This is literally my favorite flavor now. I'm very excited to launch this. Uh, my mate Mitch is coming over. We're going to smash an arm workout and he's going to taste this for the first time as well. Guys, meet Mitch, best mate. Um, also, I help him with his training every now and then just to build as much muscle as he can on his wiry frame. We started with carbs and we worked from there. <laughs> yeah, and as you can see, it's not going too well. But, uh, but we're trying. So today we're going to hit some arms. Uh, escape his weak point over here, majorly. But we're going to taste Pride Raspberry Twizzle, which is all for the first time. So you actually haven't had this before, have you? No, I haven't. Oh, of course. So we're getting a legitimate reaction. So I'll give you, I'll give you my reaction at the same time, and then and Mitch's too, obviously. And then my reaction, and you give your reaction. And then I'll give my reaction <laughs> to his reaction, <laughs> and a better reaction on camera. <laughs> and then you can react to everything. Cameraman's reacting to the whole thing. Perfect. That'll be $48. <laughs> you smell? This is up. Notes of raspberry. Yeah. Prismal undertones. Prismal <laughs> undertones. It's good, isn't it? It is nice. Mm. That is very nice. Yeah, it actually, it's not just raspberry though, because it's kind of like, it is the candy. That's why you taste that sweet, like lolly. Yeah, 100%. It's basically like this. I pretty much <laughs> it's like smelling it. <laughs> it's nearly the same. Honestly, nice. Is it, this is literally like not even saying this. This is my favorite one. Hayfi loves this one as well. He does. Yeah. This is good. <laughs> that's good. That's... I was saying earlier how when we made this, we wanted to make something that's actually gonna give you good workouts, not just like something to jack you up and leave you feeling disastrous, like a meth addict. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's just not. It's just not what we want. So, yeah. like, how did, would you kind of rate this as a pre-workout? You worked in the sub shop as well, so you've seen a heap of them. Yeah. What do you reckon? You've noticed, and well, it's just a very complete sort of pre-workout. But when we worked at the supplement shop, we'd have so many people that would uh, want the strongest. We'd always come in wanting the strongest pre-workout, and we were there going, "You don't need the strongest because that's not what is going to give you the best session. It's probably going to vasoconstrict you. You're not going to get a good pump. You're not yeah. going to be focused." You're just gonna feel like trash. So it's quite hard to sell this unless you can say to somebody, you just had had your workout go. Yeah. I feel like that's a, that's the benchmark. Is like you take this, you don't feel crazy stimulated, but you feel good and focused and ready, and you have a good session. Yeah. And you just want to keep training. That's how I felt it. <laughs> uh, speaking of stimulating ourselves, uh, Mitch and I are gonna go down and train some arms. So starting with an easy bar curl, pretty much for the rest of this workout, the whole workout, the way we're gonna train is. Very strict on form, and as soon as one of us reaches failure, uh, every now and then we'll just give him an extra two reps. So, um, also take notice when I'm spotting and when Mitch is spotting me, we're not taking the whole thing. It's pretty much just like the last bit. Yeah, just a little love tap, just enough to get past that sort of sticking point. Yeah, and then as you can see, if I help Mitch, he'll control the negative as per usual as well. There's no like swinging of any kind throughout the whole session, it's all very strict. Um, and that's how you look like that, <laughs> or that, or this. All that. <laughs> All that. All that. Easy bar, three sets of ten. <clears throat> it's not so easy with that way. I'm gonna feel like that. <laughs> One more. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Well done. Great. Oh. <laughs> Painful. So this first exercise done. Already feeling extremely pumped. Yeah, right now. Absolutely. Which is a good sign. So moving into an incline curl, second one. Really nice, really emphasizes the stretch. As you can see, Mitch here, elbows are locked and back the whole time. There is no momentum, there's no swinging. It's pausing at the top and a little bit at the bottom as well. So tension in the biceps is crazy. The most important part of this whole movement is to make sure you never stop staring at yourself in the mirror. What you'll see here is Zach's gaze is uninterrupted. Well, now it's so staring. <laughs> That's the focus. <laughs> That's the focus kicking in. It can make you focus on yourself too much. You shouldn't be careful. <laughs> if you have misdirected focus, you'll be wired at your own, <laughs> your own reflection. <laughs> oh, hell, hell, hell. Burns. A 
good. Third exercise, we're doing cable curls, but with a closer grip, elbows forward, and it's pretty much like isolated. These elbows aren't moving there. Jesus, that pump is stupid. What the hell? I'm going to make myself feel absolutely tiny. <laughs> Just train with him. And I'm like, great. <laughs> it's an awesome exercise because it takes everything away. <clears throat> So you can't get any real influence from your front delt or anywhere else, it's just the bicep. My muscle connection is key. It definitely helps with 1.6 grams of nootropics in here. Look at Mitch's focus on his own bicep. <laughs> it's not his vanity kicking in, it's nootropics. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so into triceps, we're pretty much at the halfway point now in the workout. So far I'm feeling great. Still, still feeling really, really good. Yeah. One benefit that I love about Pride is that you just want to keep training. Do you find that? 100%. Like, yeah, you, you, you don't get that, to that point 20, 30 minutes in when you're like, get me out of here, this is a chore. It's just like your brain just kind of changes. You yeah. just want to keep going. Um, we're probably yeah, half an hour into this and gonna get started with triceps, uh, push down, warm up the joints so it doesn't feel too funky. So, you'll notice with Zach here, he keeps his elbows in nice and tight. You'll get way more tricep that way. You start letting your elbows come out a bit, you'll find that people want to lean over the bar more, they get way more chest and shoulders involved in it. So you've got to try and keep yourself a bit more upright. Also too, helps when the bar finishes sort of a little underneath you, you'll get a lot more of that long head of your try. And that was just an excuse to get to touch Zach. So. <laughs> Pretty much like, it's a variation of a close grip bench, but it's almost like a cross between skull crushes. So instead of just going straight down like that, you're gonna get a bit more bend in the elbows and bring your hands a bit more towards this area instead of keeping them tucked. Yeah, so it's like a press kind of skull crusher type thing. Elbows are folding down like that. It's one of those things you kind of have to flirt with where you sort of put your hands and where you can bring your elbows in. So some will find that you can bring them in a little bit tighter and it's not too niggly with your elbow or shoulder or wrist. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that smashes them. Woo! Fills up all in there, which is it's a good feeling to have. Pump is still going very strong. So finally, finishing with a superset. We're doing regular row pushdowns. Again, same principles as always. Elbows back, nice controlled squeezing. When you hit grand failure, just spin around and do overheads, just everything you got left. So this should burn them out, probably two, two to three sets of this one. And that should get them done. Oh, dead, dead. So that's it for today's video and workout guys. I actually feel overall, I feel great. How are you feeling, Scapey? Yeah, me too. Absolutely. Yeah. I feel good. Absolutely pumped. Um, let's do it all again. Come on. <laughs> now then, guys, uh, please like this video as well. If you enjoyed, took something out of it, comment below. And I hope to see you guys getting your hands on some of this Raspberry Twizzle for Shizzle Pride because I think you can absolutely love it. Um, and that is it. Uh, anything else? Uh, I don't know. I don't really have anything for you. Oh, what what do, you got? do you have anything for us? No. We've got nothing left for you, so. <laughs> I'm gonna give you that's a takeaway message. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's it, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Yeah, see that?